<laughs> no, okay, well, we have to introduce first. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Simply Rye here, and I am back again with another movie review with my partner. I'm Scott. Scott. Scottishy. <laughs> and we are going to be reviewing the movie No Hard Feelings featuring Jennifer Lawrence. Um, before we go into our thoughts about the movies, I feel like we should go over a synopsis of the film. Um, and then after that, we'll go on and tell more about the story and then what we think about the movie. So the synopsis of the, the movie is a 32-year-old woman um, who is in jeopardy of losing her home is in search of funds needing to basically keep her home. Um, she... Her main job that gives her the most money is an Uber driver, um, but then her car gets towed away by the bank as what, like collateral? Um, and that's her main source of income. And then she has a side job as a bartender, um, but I guess it's not really cutting and making the bills and helping her out. So she has a few months to get money or else she loses her house. Um, We'll go more into that on why she needs money for the house and all that jazz. But since she needs the money, she's at like a brunch with her friend um, and they're both looking through Craigslist, seeing what kind of jobs are out there or not jobs, but more uh, cheap cars that she can get. Um, she doesn't find any and what her friend comes across an ad about a, um, a rich family needing to kind of like get their son, nerdy son, out there um, and make him more independent and finally dating someone and kind of like stop being a kid or being inclusive to himself. Um, so she ends up taking that job and that's how the story progresses and then we get to know more about the characters and that's basically the synopsis of the film. Um, we'll go more into depth. I'll hand it off to you first since I went over the synopsis. Uh, if you want to just go over a little bit about the movie and what parts you liked, etc. Well, actually, I think Jennifer Lawrence did a great job in the film. She plays a character that's a little bit different from characters that she has played in the past. Um, a quick spoiler, I, I was a little bit shocked to have fine nudity She's in naked. the film. There, there is a little bit of that, but I was like, wow. I was surprised as well. I did not think they were gonna, she was going to show herself, but I mean, she's confident as like, if you've noticed in like her interviews and all that stuff, she seems right. very confident and she's just like, nah, I don't care, I'll do it. So right. she seems like that kind of person anyway. So it wasn't really shocking, but it was shocking. Right. I was, uh, I didn't find the storyline itself to be surprising in a sense. Like it was predictable about kind of the direction it was going to go, but the concept or the actual story itself is different from movies that I can recall having seen. I will say that surprisingly in a good way that each character did change the other character and believe it or not they they both had life lessons to learn and teach each other so I really liked the movie from that aspect and I knew that the the main male character Percy was going to fall hard right. for Maddie played by Jennifer Lawrence and I knew that in a sense he was going to get his heart broken you could kind of see that that was coming and in her case she was surprised well she has a, a life she spent her life running from any type of real feelings she doesn't let herself get attached or get involved you learn a little bit more about that in the movie and right I, I kind of had a sense that what, is she attached to him a little, but 
I will say she allows herself to feel things that she has not allowed others to unlock right. with her and Percy manages to do that so I think I answered your question about kind of how I felt about it, it maybe I didn't I thought well, the movie I, was very good I, I enjoyed it it was good just to backtrack a little bit um so Maddie Jennifer Lawrence's character um is she loses her mom um, so we learned that in the story that her mom passes away, her dad is no longer there in the picture. He, uh, we learned that he had an affair with her mom and he kind of bought them this house, bought them everything and just left, let them go. So it was kind of essentially her and her mom. And then her dream was to go to, what was it, different oceans? I, I forget. She wanted to travel. I know she that She went part. to New York at one point, but then returned. Right. But I don't remember why. Well, because her mom was sick. Okay. So, she, well, it was kind of implied, because she said that she needed to come back home for certain reasons. Well, I guess I was saying I didn't know why she went to New York. I forget what she said she was doing. They touched on it briefly. I want to say it was either something with the water, something with the beach. I don't remember. I don't recall. It, it, I felt like it was just touched really that's briefly. Okay. But that's what was her dream. And she kind of came back home to take care of her mom. But then her mom passed away. And then her mom left her the house. So the house was paid off already. But you still owe taxes even though the house is paid off. So she didn't really have a, a good paying job. And the good paying job that they had, which was Uber driving, they took it away because they needed, she hadn't paid the taxes. Um, so she was kind of, kind of wanting to keep the house because she was kind of holding on to her, her mom, essentially, because that was her mom's house and she referenced that several times during the movie, that that was her mom. So when they found the ad, um, which you've probably seen in the trailer, um, she goes and schedules this interview with the, the parents of Percy and they essentially, you know, hire her. Um, and her goal is basically to date Percy. So when you say date him, do you mean date him or date him? Yes. Date him. Date him hard. Okay. I'll date his brains out. He's kind of like this nerdy, anime-loving video game, kind of like what you would picture a gamer or a nerd or somebody like scrawny, introverted to themselves, kind of like, oh, I'm shy. And throughout the movie, he... he Just to be fair, though, as, as a nerd myself... Well, not, I'm a nerd, too. I, I, but I'd like to say... Uh, one of the comments he said was what you think of when you think of a nerd, and I know what you meant. I just want to clarify, though, that not all nerds are introverted. Right. But he is very introverted, shy, and to the point that he can't function. Like, he right. is at home and, and at work and in his room. Like a hermit. Right. But um, unable to solve problems. He's not going to ask for help and things like that. And we get why he doesn't, and that's because his parents baby him. And we'll you'll find that out towards the end-ish kind of the movie because they're... They really focus on that, how the parents are like, oh, let me do that for you. Oh, and that was their whole point of kind of hiring Maddie. And she kind of brought that extrovert out from him. Um, of course, you'll find some funny scenes, comedic scenes in there. And it's kind of like your normal comedy movie, um, comedy love story, if you would say. Um, but... I feel like it, it stands on its own. You do have that, um, the fun joking relationship with Percy and Maddie. And then like you said, it was, it's predictable. He's gonna fall in love with her. She's gonna be kind of like, uh. Um, I wanna add when you say that she helps to bring him or pull him out of his shell. I wanted to share that I relate to Percy in a sense. You do too, actually. We're both like this. Percy is a rule follower. Well, you're more of a <laughs> A T, which I am very much a rules person. I do not like to break rules. and 
but Jennifer Lawrence's character is the opposite. So she really manages to get him to lighten up. And it, it would be fair to say that's something that I need to do more of sometimes is to lighten up. So I did relate to Percy in that way. I felt like in that movie you were Percy and I was Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> and we laugh because it's true. A little bit. <laughs> um, but with uh, going back to the film, um, of course he ends up falling for Maddie, and she's a 32-year-old, he's 19, so that is expressed in uh, in the movie as well. Um, but of course, like I said, you have those comedic uh, scenes, and then you have that whole love story, and how she doesn't want to get attached, um, and I think it's implied that that's because her mom passed away, and she doesn't want to love again because she was holding on to her mom, and Percy kind of brings it out of her that it's okay to let go and move on and um she does and at the end of the movie um she and him of course learn a lesson and they both better each other for that and they go live on she moves on from the house she sells the house and um she goes and explores her new journey in california and then uh, percy Go, goes ahead and explores his journey of going to college. Um, I, it didn't really imply that they would stay in a relationship, um, but it did imply that they were going to remain close. Or at least friends. Right. Um, but that's kind of the whole gist of the movie. Uh, did, anything you want to add to that? or? No, I, I like what you said. Okay. Um, so, that's pretty much all. The whole movie uh, in one little nutshell. It is a good watch, so I we would won't give this away. But you're there's, gonna. <laughs> there's a lot of funny moments. There are funny moments and, and sweet moments. Right, and that's why I didn't want to get into that either because I think it is a. The story is predictable, but then you have those funny moments. Um, so you have to watch to see those funny moments. I don't think we need to touch base on that, since you know it. I, I do recommend watching the movie. Um, but I I'll give, it. yeah, he did, <laughs> he, we walked out of the movies and he said that he really enjoyed it. Um, since you kind of touched base on your thoughts earlier, um, I'm going to just say that I enjoyed the movie as well. Um, I did find it predictable as he knows I sometimes whisper to him what's going to happen next and it usually does. And I don't know if it annoys you or not, but I do it anyways. <laughs> um, but it, it was predictable, and I think that's the only thing I didn't like about the movie. But what do you expect with a romantic comedy? Um, but I did thoroughly enjoy the movie. I enjoyed Jennifer Lawrence's acting. Like you mentioned, it's different than what she uh, normally does. Um, but it, it was really enjoyable, and I enjoyed her character. Uh, I enjoyed everyone's character, pretty much. Um, Anything you want to add on to your thoughts about the movie? No, I, I think we're in agreement there. Do you want me to give it a number? Yeah, since I've been going first, what would you rate it out of 10? I would give this one a 7 out of 10, only because of what we both talked about. It's very predictable, and I'm not remembering the exact movie playlist is in the title it's another it's movie that Mary playlist. It, it, well it's another no, no, movie that Jennifer one. Lawrence is in with um, I blanked out on his name Bradley Cooper I'm on the deep end no, <laughs> I know I did that's the only one that I think that's of star is because born. it always came on in the movies right that's with Lady Gaga <laughs> yes <laughs> but what I, the only reason I would give it a 7 out of 10 is that there are some similarities with the way that the character acts for Jennifer Lawrence in both movies. Clearly, she's not a, a drug addict or a past that. drug addict uh, in this movie. But that's the reason I would give it a 7 out of 10. But I don't want to imply that I 
think the movie is bad because I gave it a 7 out of 10. It's really just that predictability. I think it's a really good movie. I do think it's worth your time. It's very enjoyable and you'll laugh a lot. I really believe that. And there were many moments that I thought were very special in a, and what I mean by that is heartwarming. I, I was actually going to give it a 7 or a 7.8 out of 10. Um, just like you mentioned, predictable. Um, but the character development, you, you getting sucked into the characters, I liked. Um, it, it was predictable, but it also had their... It was kind of a new-ish new story, but I enjoyed it. Um, I recommend you watch it. Uh, I am also a little bit biased when it comes to romantic comedies because I don't really care for them and I don't watch them a whole lot. But since Jennifer Lawrence was in it and we saw the trailers during different, um, different showings that we were going to, it seemed interesting and we decided to watch it and it was actually pretty good. Yes, it was. Well, I hope you enjoyed this movie review this week. Hopefully, we will put one out again another week. Um, you should be expecting my partner with these reviews. Uh, if not, it's just those one-off things where he may be busy. Um, but other than that, I hope everyone has a great day, great night, wherever you're at. And Simply Right, out.